Look how big this freaking Cory is. A member of Ericariaceae, the monkey puzzle family, which evolved probably in a Triassic. Ancient family of conifers, restricted to the southern hemisphere now, but was at one point in the northern hemisphere. It's thought that uh, the trees that comprise Petrified Forest National Park over there in Arizona were in this family. Quite a few species of agathis. You get them in New Caledonia, you get them in Australia, get a couple in New Guinea. They got cones that uh, sit upright on the branches and just disintegrate. That's wild though, look at that. That thing's gotta be, how big around is that? It's bigger than a giant sequoia for sure. We're still like, you know, 50, 60 feet back from it. It's nowhere near as tall as a giant sequoia, but uh, it's big as hell around. Got all kinds of birds up, up in a tree. Got a damn European honeybee nest up there too. You can see them all flitzing around and putzing around. See that? It's got flaking, flaking, peeling bark so it doesn't get covered in epiphytes, but uh, looks like something at one point made itself up there. How many species you got up in that thing? You've got, you got, got a couple podocarps growing up in there. It's another old conifer lineage restricted to the southern hemisphere. Some of the podocarps can get massive. The ones that are growing in a canopy aren't. Like, yeah, you got a decritium up there. That's hilarious. You got a Remu up there. All kinds of damn astelias. Little epiphytic monocot. Yeah, you got Pseudopanax, Aureliaceae, the uh, English ivy family right there. Order of carrots, Apiales. Freycinetia, which is in Pandanaceae, another weird family of monocots. It's a climber. See that thing? It's just climbing up that tree. Climate of the Pacific Northwest. It's about 60 degrees right now. Chilly and moist. What a beast! Oh, you got a nice remove right there. See with the pendant foliage? Draping? Agathis australis, everybody. See, there's the foliage of Coria of Agathis australis. See that? Looks much different when it's young. It's narrower and longer and more lanceolate, more pokey. The leaves are directly opposite each other when they're young. Here you can see their imbricate. All right, kind of like snake scales. It's crazy to think that leaves that small could keep something that big alive. But you gotta remember, trees are only alive in the outer few inches of their bark. All right, all that, all that heartwood inside is dead. It's just structural. 